heard this beat in my dream. feeling so good I think and I think first of all the fact that I've just had a long weekend of not training has done me the world of good more from a mental point of view I think just um, not having to train over the weekend and just not thinking about training has really helped because obviously last week um, I didn't have the best training days um, and although when I was up in Manchester there was a lot of drinking um, and obviously a lot of traveling to get there and back um, which sort of stiffened me up a little bit. I've still come away from it feeling really good and on Monday session I felt really really good so I trained on Monday instead of Tuesday just because I knew I had uh, sort of an extra rest day of the weekend and my deadlift session went really well. Um, I was meant to work up to a top set of five on 240 kilos but we kind of pre-planned the fact that I had been traveling and having a bit of a boozy weekend uh, so we capped it at three reps and that felt really really good um, obviously there's a little bit of fatigue carrying over from the weekend but like I say we pre-planned that um, but I think the biggest thing that I was happy about the, the, the thing that I was most happy about was my bench session and that was the fact that I managed to work up to 90 kilos which doesn't sound like a lot but the thing that I was most pleased with was the fact that I was able to hit the rep with pretty much maximal force um, and what I've been doing previously with my bench sessions have been very sub-maximal um, so I've been bringing the bar down and sort of really easing my way through the press because I've been really worried about the, the pec. Um, but on Monday, I was able to bring the bar down and literally explode off my chest, feeling very confident and it having no impact on my pec whatsoever. And I think the only thing that I really changed was the fact that I just um, sort of a little bit of a, a light bulb moment, I suppose, is just my hand positioning changed very slightly and I just bended the bar in the opposite direction to what I've been doing. So I think I've just been doing that wrong the whole time where by twisting the bar a little bit differently, I've been putting more emphasis on my lats now rather than on my pec. So that's going to be something that I continue to do moving forward and see if that helps. Um, today is Wednesday, so obviously my training days are mixing up a little bit. Normally I train on a Thursday. I think I'm going to go into the gym today just because I'm kind of excited to get back into the gym because I'm feeling really good. And the other thing that I'm really excited about and feeling good about is the fact that my training program has changed a little bit now. So Matt has revised it a bit and he has brought down the intensity in my squats, which I think has been a factor into why I've been getting a lot of pain in my knees and my hips. Uh, so he's had a little look at that and revised that. So the intensity is going to be coming right down. Um, or rather the total volume is going to be coming right down. So that just puts a little bit less stress and we can start building that up again as and when sort of the pain and fatigue levels come down a little bit. So really looking forward to today's session or tomorrow's session, depending on how I feel a bit later. Obviously, um, it is my study day today, and so I've got all my stuff here. So just having my lunch now uh, and just getting a few lectures done. So obviously by the end of the day, I'm normally a little bit tired from all of the lectures. So we'll see how we feel a bit later, but um, if we do go and train, it's a very light SSB day. Oh yeah, that's something else as well. Um, I'm not restricting myself with my diet whatsoever at the moment. So trying to just eat what I want, when I want really, just trying to get those calories in because I was finding that I was getting a little bit restrictive with the sort of diet that I was having with the uh, liver and the beef and the fruit and that sort of thing. And it was a little bit restrictive and I find that I wasn't actually getting the calories in that I thought I was getting in. So I need to be eating more food basically to be able to recover session to session so I'm not being too restrictive trying to eat what I can when I can and just see how I feel uh, doing that so on that note bon appetit
Right, so uh, the thing about the new program, although uh, it's very exciting, it is slightly intimidating because there's a lot of volume that I've got to be doing for accessory movements. So I'm starting out by doing some good morning, which I haven't done for a while, but that should be fairly easy. And then I've got to do between 50 and 70 walking lunges with a weighted vest which sounds absolutely brutal, but those are the sort of functional movements I think I need to be doing to help with sort of my knee and my hip, because uh, it sort of gets a nice sort of stretch down my hip and my hip flexors. And those are the sort of movements I think I've been missing a little bit, so I'm looking forward to giving it a go and seeing how I'm feeling by the end of the session. Okay, so that's uh, the good mornings done. I think I did them right. I haven't really ever done good mornings, so I don't really know what the form is, but I definitely felt it sort of in my back and in my hamstrings, which is posterior chain, which uh, good mornings is. It's a posterior chain movement. Uh, just about to start doing the walking lunges. Just found a little weighted vest. I think I need to do 50 to 70 reps. Yeah, like I said, I have no idea how many sets I'm meant to do that in or if I'm just meant to continue on until I basically die. I don't know, so uh, let's find out. only did 50 because literally I was dying by the end of it. Um, I think what it highlighted, what they highlighted was a clear weakness in my VMO, which is like my vastus medialis, which is the inner muscle of my quads, because uh, they just cramped up so bad when I finished, I could barely walk. So that also highlighted that they're quite weak and they're doing a lot of work when I'm doing this particular movement. So that's something that I'm gonna continue to do, continue to do, do these lunges and hopefully strengthen that area. And I don't know, because I don't know exactly what's wrong with my knee, but I'm hoping that if I can sort of strengthen the muscles around the knee, the VMO being one of them, that it will start to feel a little bit better. So yeah, we'll continue with them. They felt good. A bit out of breath, obviously, because 50 reps is 50 reps. Um, but they were good, enjoyed them. Saturday today. Can't quite believe it's been a whole two days since my last training session, because my glutes are still absolutely in tatters. Um, so, yeah, today I need to do pretty much the exact same training session, uh, which is good in a way because I really enjoyed it on a Thursday. I had a really good session, um, just feeling the effects of it. Um, those walking lunges were just absolutely brutal. So I need to do the same again, but for more reps. So we'll see how we get on. Um, doing SSB again today, working up to a top single of 175 pores, so not heavy. Um, so it shouldn't be a problem with DOMS. Um, yeah, just looking forward to the training session because honestly, Thursday session was just so good. Um, it was nice to really switch it up from a sort of mental point of view. Um, I was just getting a little bit frustrated the last few weeks just with the pain. We've done a lot of high volume stuff on the lower body and it was just starting to really bother me. Um, so it was nice to get a session in where um, I just felt a little bit more uh, relaxed with my training and actually enjoyed it. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad that I've got that for sort of two out of the three sessions. I've got two pretty much of the same sessions, Thursday and Saturday. So I'm looking forward to continuing to progress those because we are going to start getting heavier with them. Um, especially with the SSB, that's going to start ramping up. But um, I definitely find the way that we're 
um, approaching training now is definitely more beneficial for things like my hip and my knee because those are the things that have really been bothering me lately. So yeah, just gonna have some pre-workout and then get back in the gym for some more brutal walking lunges. <laughs> Okay, so that's the, uh, the first worrying movement out of the way. Bench, 92.5 kilos for a single, nice and easy. No aggravation on the pack, which is the most important thing. So moving on to SSB. Um, something that uh, Matt has actually got me is a Sorai. I don't know if any of you are familiar with this piece of equipment. It's basically a torture device which digs into your hips before you squat and tries to loosen up your hips. Um, it's got my name written all over it. I don't even know if you can see that, but it has got my name in there. I think Craig, you've got your own one as well, have you? He does treat us well, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, use that for a little bit, get the hips nice and loose, warm up, and then uh, yeah, get into this SSB session. SSB is feeling glorious today. Uh, 175 moves really quick. I think it probably moved quicker than it did on Thursday. No pain, which is the most important thing. Moving on to B stance, cambered bar RDLs. Luckily, my coach has just turned up so I can actually quiz him about what that actually is because I have no idea. Okay, just spoken to Matt. I've worked it out. Um, they sound quite complicated, but it sounds like my hamstrings are going to be uh, obliterated doing these. Okay, that's the uh, RDL is done. Just finishing off with those lunges now. I'm gonna try and aim for more than I did on Thursday. So I did 50 on Thursday. If I get 52, 54, I'll be happy with that. So all I'm thinking about now is getting these done and then getting some waffles. Oh my god, okay, so that was 60 reps, so I think I've earned my waffle. So uh, just before I go and have my waffle, I think it's only right that we check in with Craig and his weird and wonderful stretches. Craig? What? Practicing his synchronized... What do we call this one? Synchronized swimming. Synchronized swimming. Right. He has the best farmer's tan for someone who's not a farmer. <laughs> Mobility gains. Alright guys, back from the gym. I've actually had quite a long nap when I got back from the gym, which was very nice. Um, but yeah, pretty much just going to sign out the video now really, but just wanted to end by saying how much I've enjoyed my training for the last couple of sessions. Um, 
as I sort of said, just sort of mixing it up a little bit, throwing in more of those functional movements as, um, yeah, just freshen things up because I felt like it was stagnating a little bit and I wasn't really enjoying my training. So, um, yeah, Matt was obviously at the gym today, so I was able to sort of tell him that. And, uh, yeah, he was sort of able to guide me through some of the movements as well, which is good. I always like training when he's there as well. So, yeah, it's just been a nice end to the week. Um, obviously, next week, I've got two, four, five for five on the deadlift. So hopefully I do recover in time for that because although I've loved the training that I've been doing, it's been um, quite tough just on the muscles in general. So um, just a lot of soreness, no pain, which is good. Just a lot of soreness. So uh, I've got two days to recover now, make sure I have lots of food. Tomorrow's my brother's birthday. He's coming here um, and we're gonna have a nice big roast dinner. So obviously a lot of calories, a lot of food, a lot of protein to be consumed tomorrow so that will aid in that recovery but yeah just want to sign out the video now guys hope you've enjoyed it please leave it a like if you have subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one take care peace